Hello YouTube and welcome to my third video in the HTML and CSS beginner tutorial series. In the last video we created a title for the page and we looked at the basic structure and we looked at the basic tags. Don't worry, we're going to cover there's a bunch of more tags, we're going to cover each separately. As long as you learn the basic syntax, that's probably the most important thing and also the structure of the page we're going to go more in detail as the videos progress so first thing that i want to do from the last video not to confuse you let's do a couple of things basically let's give us some more space so we have space to work with and also what we can do is just to show you um, how stuff works that we can also type uh, tags let's say in one line okay and then we have a uh, tag in two lines so what we also always need to remember is that tags don't generally you cannot just put them on out, outside somewhere let's say outside HTML so all the tags we have put inside this HTML okay then when we go head, whatever we're putting inside the head goes inside. You kind of just put the end ending of the title tag somewhere here. It, it wouldn't work it threw out there. Okay, the same way if we're putting the body tags, the body tag go actually in the HTML. However, they're not inside the head. So those are two separate tags. The title, that's the one that goes inside the head tag. Like I promised in the last video, we will gonna start working with actual body with what we can what we'll be creating and what we can see and um, so let's let's get to it so I don't think I need to tell you guys that in general if you're writing an article you're writing a paragraph but it's also a thing called header okay so let's just look at the most basic thing how we can uh, apply text to our body so what we would do is just you either write some gibberish or we would write something like, hey, what's up? I mean, spelling is horrible, but that's not the point. Okay, let's save it. And let's go to the lab preview. And we're opening a file. And we can see that we added some text to the actual our actual body. Okay, we added whatever gibberish, and we added some more gibberish. Um, very stupid, but very practical in the sense that you're learning the, the very basics. That it is possible. Um, I don't know who would visit this web page. I don't know who would actually upload this web page. But hey, I mean, there's a bunch of weirdos out there. So. Let's let's minimize this because we'll be working with this one. So let's say you wanted to add something something really more uh, important than just a bunch of gibberish. Uh, like I said, for every article you would first create a header, and then you have to ask yourself, well, is there a header tag? Oh well, yes, there is. So what you do is you create H1. And the brackets right away create h2. And once you write something inside there, this is the article title. Now let's refresh the page and look at preview. This is the article. Okay, and now you can see that we have created something that's bold, something that more stands out, and something actually that looks like the actual title. So, uh, let me show you that there's actually six types of headers. Okay, what we were going to do is copy and paste and paste and paste pretty much three more times just to give you an example of what this is okay 
So as I said, we start from the second one, and then I'm sorry, we start with the first one, and then we keep going down the list. That's three, then it's four. Five and then six. Okay, nothing, no uh, rocket science, but we're slowly but surely getting there. Okay, so we save this again. We go back to the preview. Okay, and we right away can see this is an article, this is an article, this is not. And as you can see, they're all getting smaller and not as wide and not as noticeable. And that is how you create headers for your page. This is going to be it for this video because I want to keep the information in little chunks so it's easier to digest. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you at my next video.